Hi friends, thanks for stopping by. If you're watching this today, it's my birthday. October 29th, yeah. <laughs> and what I really wanted for my birthday was a router table. I do have a handheld router, but sometimes it's very inconvenient to use it. So I really wanted a table. And now I'm not gonna use it very often. So I was looking for something that made sense for me, something that doesn't cost me four or $500 um, but it's still sturdy enough and good enough and good quality that I can use. I did a lot of researching online and I did find the Cobalt router. That's the one I got right now. The only complaint a lot of people had about this router were the legs. The legs are not made out of metal. Like a lot of the other router tables, it's made out of plastic. However, it's a very sturdy plastic. And while people complained about it, that it was out of plastic, they never actually complained about it, that it ever broke or anything. So I do believe, um, that while they're made out of plastic, they're still gonna be very long lasting and sturdy enough for um, what I will be doing with the router. You can follow me along, see how I put it together, and after that I will demo it, I will take it in my garage and run some wood over it, see how it performs. I unbox everything, so it comes with the legs, the plate, which is very sturdy as well. I don't know if it's metal, aluminum, I have no clue what it is, but it's sturdy. It's pretty heavy as well. So it's not going to be some cheap material. It does come with the fins. It's right here. You know, it really everything looks awesome. It does come with the router. I do have a Makita router and handheld one. It's pretty small. This one is like twice the size and it's really heavy. So, you know, I really hope it works good. It does come with a few screws, it's not going to be too many, I assume this is um, to attach the fence probably, but let's find out. Let's put it together. All right, I put it all together. It was fairly easy. It doesn't have a lot of screws. Um, I want to show you real quick how you put in the bit. It's super easy. You put it in and there is a little button on the back side. It would be about right here underneath it. I'm pressing the button, taking the tool and just fit, closing it. Make it very tight so it doesn't come out. All right. Once this is done, take the tool that was applied with it, 
and screw it back down. It's super easy. Look how it just goes up and down. I'm not sure if you can see it. This way it goes up. This way it goes down. It's super easy, super simple. You don't have to deassemble the machine or anything to change the bit or to lower and raise it. It's just amazing. I love it. Once it is the right height, just tighten the clamp underneath it. Here we go. All right. That's it, the machine is ready to go. I'm gonna take it down in the garage to run some wood over it and see how it performs. soon to give a full review about the Cobalt router table combo kit but I'm impressed so far you know I only used it once it was a simple setup simple enough for me to follow the steps there were a few errors I did but it were easy to fix it does come with a limited five-year warranty and it did do a clean cut if you look at the piece of wood it's very clean I didn't have any issues it doesn't show any burn marks even though I went very slow so you know I'm very impressed with it I'm happy I got it and I'm sure I'm gonna be happy in the future using it. Thank you for taking the time to watching my video and I hope I see you in the next one.